So you know how you're always so into finding cool new ways to learn stuff, especially with technology? Well, get ready because we found something really wild. Oh, tell me more. I'm always up for pushing the boundaries. What did you find? Okay, so picture this. Using ChatGTT, yeah, the AI chatbot everyone's talking about, to make interactive language lessons. Whoa, really? I never thought of using it for that. That's pretty mind-blowing. How does it even work? Right. This document we're diving into breaks down how to use it to make interactive maps for language learning. Okay, I'm intrigued. Maps and language learning. Go on. Basically, it walks you through using ChatGPT to generate map data, descriptions of different spots, and even quiz questions, all for a new language. Interesting. So instead of just reading about a place, you're interacting with it on a map. Yeah, exactly. The example they use is actually Paris and French. So say you're learning French, you click on, like, the Louvre Museum, and boom, you get a description in French. Gotcha. So it tests your reading comprehension right off the bat. Exactly. And then, to kick it up a notch, you get hit with a pop quiz, multiple choice style, about the Louvre, but in English. Like, bam, it's gamifying the learning process. Wow, that's pretty cool. But is it really effective? Or is it more just a fun way to learn a few words? Well, that's where this whole active recall thing comes in, which I know we've talked about before. By making you answer questions, it actually helps you remember the information better. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Our brains love a good challenge. Right. It's like the difference between just reading a textbook and actually having a conversation with a local in Paris, you know. Totally. And speaking of conversations, get this. They even talk about using Vocaroo, you know, that audio recording tool, to add another layer to these maps. Hmm. Imagine clicking on the Eiffel Tower and hearing a real French person telling you fun facts about it. No way! That's next level immersive. Okay, you've got me hooked. But let's be real, this sounds pretty techy. Is it something I could actually do? Or do I need to be a coding whiz? That's the best part. The document actually lays everything out super clearly step by step. Okay, phew. That's good to know. But how adaptable is this whole thing? Could you use it for any language, any city, like say, I wanted to brush up on my Japanese before hitting up Tokyo. Absolutely. This Paris example is just the starting point. The method itself is incredibly versatile. You could literally use it to explore any corner of the world, all while actively learning the local lingo. This is blowing my mind. It's like having the ultimate personalized language learning adventure at your fingertips. Exactly. And the best part is, it's all powered by technology that's readily available. This is incredible. You're telling me anyone can create their own language learning journey for anywhere they want to go. Think of it like a choose your own adventure book, but for languages. You pick a place, do a little research on cool spots, plug it all into ChatGPT, and boo, you've got your own unique and engaging way to learn. That is seriously cool. It almost makes traditional language learning seem, well, kind of boring, right? It definitely makes you rethink the possibilities, that's for sure. But even though the technology is amazing, what matters most is how we use it. So true. It's like having all the fancy ingredients for a gourmet meal. You've got to know how to combine them to make it really shine. Exactly. And that's what we're here to explore, not just the what of this tech, but the how to actually make it work for us. It's like we've discovered this whole secret level of language learning. Yeah, kind of. This whole thing really shows how powerful personalized learning can be. And it's not even just about picking where you want to go with it. Imagine focusing on your own interests, right? Like, say you're super into architecture. You could totally make a map all about famous buildings, learning all those cool words for different styles and stuff in, I don't know, Italian or something. Okay, my brain is already going a million miles a minute with ideas. Yeah. But can we circle back to that active recall thing for a sec? We kind of flew over it, but for someone like me who forgets things if I don't write them down like five times, I got to know the why behind it. Oh, absolutely. Active recall is seriously powerful because it makes your brain actually work for it. If you're just reading something over and over, you're not really engaging. It's like, think of your memory as a muscle. If you don't challenge it, it it's not gonna get any stronger, right? Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. So when you actually have to pull that information out of your brain, it's like a workout for your memory, those connections get way stronger. So this method just bakes that in from the start. Totally. Yeah. It's not just memorizing lists of words. You're answering questions. You're reading descriptions. Even hearing those recordings, all that reinforces what you're learning because you're constantly pulling it back up.
This is honestly pretty mind-blowing. It's like we've been doing language learning wrong this whole time. It's true. Those old school methods, they focus so much on just memorizing stuff mm -hmm. instead of really understanding it and actually using it. Yeah. And this chat GPT map thing, it totally flips that on its head, making it, I don't know, more fun, way more engaging. <laughs> and yeah, it actually seems like it works better. And speaking of fun, got to say, that Vocaroo thing, that's what really got me to hear a real person, a native speaker, talking about a place like they're right there with you, that's a game changer. Right. I mean, think about it. You could have recordings of musicians, chefs talking about local dishes, even just snippets of everyday conversations happening in the background as you're going through this map. I know. It'd be like stepping into a time map and teleporting yourself to another country. All right. You've convinced me I'm ditching the textbooks and language apps. <laughs> this is the future. I'm telling you. And the crazy thing is, we're just scratching the surface here. We've been talking languages, but this whole approach, it could go way beyond that. Now you're speaking my language. I love where you're going with this. What else could we use this chat GPT thing for? Well, what about history? Imagine, instead of just reading about, I don't know, the American Revolution, mm -hmm. you could actually explore a map of Boston from back then. Wait, with like historical places pinned and everything? Exactly. You click on, say, the Old North Church, mm. and yeah, you get a description of why it's important, but also maybe some old documents from that time, or even a historian talking about what happened there, even a quick quiz to see what you remember. So it's like having this crazy interactive history book that comes to life. Instead of just reading about the past, you're actually in it. And it wouldn't just be for history, right? I mean, you could totally use this for science or geography, even art. The list goes on and on. Oh, absolutely. Think about learning about the human body by, like, actually taking a virtual tour through the circulatory system. Or what about blasting off into space and exploring the solar system, jumping from planet to planet with quizzes along the way? This is seriously next-level stuff. It's like we're standing right on the edge of a whole new world of learning. And it's not even just about making it more fun and exciting, although that's definitely a huge part of it. This approach could actually make learning more effective and way more accessible to everybody. Especially for people who learn best by, you know, actually doing things and seeing things instead of just reading about them. Exactly. It's like it levels the playing field no matter how you learn best. Everyone can go at their own pace and actually enjoy the process. So for you listening, I know you're all about exploring new tools and tech to learn new things. This chat GPT method. It's like it was made for you, especially with how much you love to travel and experience different cultures. It's like your secret weapon. Totally. It's like having your own personal tour guide and language tutor all rolled into one. Available 24-7, no plane ticket needed. Exactly. And the best part is we're just getting started. Who knows what kind of incredible learning tools we'll have in the future with AI getting more advanced all the time. The possibilities are truly mind-blowing. Mm. And I think it just goes to show that sometimes the most groundbreaking stuff comes from thinking way outside the box, taking something like a chatbot and turning it into this whole new approach to learning. Who would have thought? Okay, so as we wrap up our deep dive today, I want to leave you with this. We've talked about language learning, history, even touched on a few other subjects, but honestly, that's just scratching the surface. What about you? What are you passionate about? What do you want to learn more about? Because this could be your key to unlocking a whole new world of knowledge. Keep those questions in mind and never stop exploring.